one of the biggest things we didn't have a really good control of was financials, uh, the financial piece of it, the planning part of it, um, really learning what our profits are, what our, what our, what our costs are for our products that we're selling. Um, we knew money was coming in, um, and there was plenty of it coming in, which is wonderful, but we didn't know what to do with it. We didn't know what areas to reinvest in. We couldn't grow more because we didn't know how to run the business. Um, you know, we were excellent at being in the business and working in the business, but not knowing how to run it as a true business should be run. Um, you know, not knowing how, how to staff properly, not knowing uh, when we can hire people, when, um, you know, when certain decisions make sense financially. Um, you know, we also needed to move into a, a, a new warehouse space and we didn't know what we could afford because we really haven't done these profit and loss statements before. We didn't know our monthly KPIs. We haven't been measuring. And those are the things, well, we knew, we, we always knew we needed to do it. We just didn't know how to do it. You know, and you can read books and you can do everything. But you know, if you read a book, a, a book on finances, I, I'd get to page five and it'd be like, all right, I'm just confused and I know I'm not gonna finish this. So <laughs> it was really, it was for us, it was, uh, I think at least for me, I'm a more visual and audio learner. Uh, so. Being in, being at the interface with the with the coach, and them you know really laying out the steps and laying out the you know, the guidelines, and ha them having that experience and knowledge, you know, has really helped us start making those decisions that we need to make and start to continue to grow. Because so, we kind of had grown to the point where, you know, even though it's just I mean, Julian and we have a couple of other employees, um, we couldn't move for we were kind of there was so much business coming in that we couldn't take the time to work on the business and handle it. So and at the same time, we we're also losing business because we didn't know how to handle this overflow. So that's uh, kind of where we're at. I would say the value is is learning how to run the business. I mean, that is the real value and getting real returns on the, you know, on the, the, the methodologies that they're outlining for us, the, 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 the planning and the setting the goals. That's where the, the value is. Now we're able to take on more business and grow our business and, um, and not be completely stressed out about it. You know, having, you know, and also being, just being having someone to go to to be like, can we do this or how do we do this or why is this the right decision and having someone else that validate and one validate that and to say you know we'll, we'll look at these numbers that doesn't make sense you know and, but we didn't know how to look at those numbers before you know we just saw you know 50 look at your bank statement yeah okay there's a bunch of stuff coming in there's a bunch of stuff going out uh, well, why you know what do we do with it that was the uh, that was our biggest challenge I mean, that's so that's that's for us that's the biggest value is, is uh it's just learning how to set these goals and really how to read your business and know what's going on in the business. So in that sense, it's helped us grow.